Hi everyone! In this video we're going to be working on drop spins. So if you're working on drop spins, odds are you probably don't have much experience with color guard. So we'll start by welcoming you to your flag. Welcome to your flag. This right here, this is the tab. Up top here, this is your tip. Down here is your butt. And these little taped areas are your thirds. There should be four of them. You can feel them inside the silk as well. So, drop spins. We're gonna start second position, although I know you can't see my feet. Our one hand is at the butt, the other hand is at the tab. At this point, it doesn't matter which one because it is preferable that you know how to do drop spins on both sides. So we're gonna start five, six, five, six, squeeze, eight, and one. So going down, both of my thumbs are down. I'm about, I'm about uh, right at my chest. If you're a woman, right at your bra line. And both of my hands are down. Both of my thumbs are down. So I'll do that again. Five, six, five, six, squeeze, eight, one. So my hand is grabbing underneath, thumbs down. After one, we'll go two. Now our thumbs are up and I grabbed with this hand underneath. The biggest part with drop spins is grabbing thumbs both direction and underneath each time. So I'll do it again. We go five, six, five, six, squeeze, eight and one, two. All right, we'll do 10 together now. So five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice, very nice. Some common problems we get into when we have drop spins is when we spin, we end up twisting and our silk ends up rolling. So you see how it's not as long as it was. This happens because when we grab, we start to twist our wrists a bit. It can either go forward or backward and that makes it roll. As you keep spinning, you'll find a way, your own way to make sure that you don't roll and you will also be encouraged to find a way to unroll as you do drop spins. Some good exercises for drop spins. You need to do 100 starting on right side. One, two, three, four, hundred, stop. And then over to the left, another 100. So it doesn't change much as we go to left and right, but you do need that multi, uh, can't come up with the word, but you do need to be able to do it on both sides. Now that last trick I did was called a drop pop or a drop stop, depending on who you spin for. I call it both, which makes it a little confusing, but how we do it, we go up, one, two, three, four, grab down, as it comes up, this hand is gonna hit the tab and our top hand is gonna go right in the middle. So this is a nice strong stop. If we do it weak, it doesn't look good and you end up at an angle. You want a nice, strong, very aggressive stop. All right. Today we've learned how to do drop spins. I wish you all luck and please comment with any questions and I'll try my best to answer them.